What's up, YouTube? I got the specialist, specialist, the most special guest ever. Marcy. How are you? Isn't I she, didn't know that I was doing isn't this she today. she lovely? Isn't she gorgeous and strong and fit and capable? Anyway, we're doing a squat progression. This is not hypertrophy. This is not a bodybuilding workout. As some of you know, I'm getting ready for my fight, so training is different now. Um, Masi doesn't back squat anymore. She does a lot of functional things. She put me through a workout last week, and it fucked me up, but I liked it. <laughs> I'm actually going to come to you a few times a week for some additional movement work. Oh, hello. So, okay. So I can, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyway, y'all rock with us. Um, a power progression, and that's it. This is a proper progression. Listen, you gotta train specific to what you're doing. We talked about this before. So we're not gonna go a bunch of reps and all of that stuff. And every time you do a progression, you don't have to max out, okay? So just follow along. And we'll talk about this as we go along, all right? You ready? It's been a while. Let's been a go. While. Oh, we did talk about you this are you, morning. But are you ready? Are you filming? Oh, motherfucker, say, can you say something, motherfucker? We get an action up in this bitch. Mother, well, don't say action or nothing. YouTube, y'all see how my man do me? He don't even say action. He just stare at me like I'm doing something wrong. I'm already kind of stretched. Need a stretch. Warm up, stretch. Shout out to my homie Joey Firestone keeping me hydrated, real hydration, baby. All right, so explain this progression to me. All right, so. What's the rep count, time? There, uh, as we go along, I'll prescribe, but the first rep set is just a warm up, right? <laughs> so look. Great. Do you want to start here? You haven't squatted in so long. You wanna... Who do you think I am? Woo! Of course. Okay. I like that. I like that. I did, I don't know, I, th I think I did five or six reps. <laughs> I'm just warming up. All right, that's, that's it, y'all. So that's beast mode, that's how we do it. All right, like, subscribe. I'll fuck with y'all. <laughs> so Masi, what is MA Warriors? What is that all about? Oh, it's a community. Yeah. Um, my global community that I've grown for the past five, six years. So we run a few challenges a year and you got one going, it's about to end right yeah, now. Yeah, so it's about to end in a couple of days. And then we, I coach this women for 60 days. Right. And this happens to be a strength and conditioning mm -hmm. challenge. And then um, after enrollment, it just goes as a program because it's, it's an right, actual right. program. Okay, so the challenge is 60 days. But if you don't sign up, in time for the challenge you can still purchase the program correct okay yes. that's dope ladies this listen she knows her shit she's legit <laughs> you know what i'm saying and her community is lit yeah. i see the engagement it's fucking crazy it's inspiring it's dope so i need to check her shit out it's right down link in the description let's get it all right moving up and wait just a little bit and we'll probably only do about five reps here All right, so listen, y'all. When the weight is light, I still want y'all to explode up. You practice that explosiveness. 
you have to practice perfect. Not all practice is perfect, all right? So practice the right way. So while the weight is light, you practice being explosive. Act like there's a lot of weight on the bar because it's gonna matter when the shit gets heavy. I don't like this. I like it. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Well, easy peasy, let me squeeze So, MA Warriors, it's been, it's been about five years since you've been building this community, right? Correct. About 33,000 women have gone through this program. 45. What are we doing? 45. <clears throat> that's, that's pretty legit. And basically, it just teaches you how to change your life in a sustainable way uh -huh. without any, any extremes. And we get you mentally, physically, and spiritually ready. Right, so I started doing something similar last year, right? And it's bringing a lot of joy to me, right? What's the best thing, the best takeaway for you out of all of these years of uh, doing your challenges? Just getting people off medication, just teaching them, hey, you can lose the way, you can get really strong, you can achieve your goals without having to do anything super extreme. Right. Because the goal is not for you to do something for a specific amount of time. Right. The goal is for me to teach you what you need to do. So a you lifestyle can, change. Correct. Yeah. So that's what the ME60 Day is about. Right. Lifestyle changes. Right, right. Teaching people how to read their labels. Look, one thing you just fun. said that's so major, and I, I'm so with you on this, is helping get people off of medication. Mm -hmm. Because here's the thing. Most ailments that people are suffering from, whether it be diabetes, hypertension, all of these things, it's all <laughs> you control that. We can it's lifestyle related. Exactly. It's mostly so, about food. 100%. We're so, over consuming food. And it's so crazy. I'll be telling people this that statistics, things have changed. It's shifted over the years. First of all, every year, uh, plates are getting bigger, right? Portion sizes are getting bigger. Um, the average weight for Americans is growing. And it used to be a time where Cigarettes and alcohol was the leading cause of death in this country. The lead in car accidents. The leading cause of the death now is food related. It's heart disease from food, and diabetes. Come on, y'all. And I get it. It's fucking hard. Like, I understand why people overeat. Food is delicious. It's fucking good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and we are a species that, for most of our existence, there wasn't a, a whole lot of food to eat. You know what I mean? It was hard to get food. So when you got it, you know, the endorphins and, and dopamine, everything's firing up. You're happy. It makes you feel good. And we still get that. But now it's an abundance of food everywhere you look. So we just got to be disciplined enough to like, you know, I don't need this shit right now. And can I just say something? It's about the quality of the food that you're ingesting. It's a lot of junk. If it comes in a box, not in a box, a lot of things can come in a box, but if it comes wrapped up, bunch of candy, no nutritional value in your food. If you actually focus on whole foods, like you can actually whole foods, eat whatever like, you like, want. Like a whole snicker, like a whole snicker bar. The whole food, right? <laughs> I get no, it. No, no. You can actually make all these things mm. that you love just healthier. That's right. And that's a start. Right. And there's no way you can overeat eating whole foods because the fiber is going to keep You're you too full. full. Right. Exactly. So. And there's sensors in your stomach that it hits to satiate you that a pizza won't. You know what I'm saying? So that's why people can eat a whole pizza, but you can't eat that much salad and there's way less calories in a salad. You know what I mean? So we're going to get y'all right. All right. Just hang in there. All right. So we're moving up. Uh, we'll go to three reps on this set. Easy morning, baby. You want two? Two plates.
All right, so moving up the progression, two reps. Listen, <laughs> don't be moving up the progression and lowering your reps and not increasing the weight. I'm watching you, motherfuckers. All right, do this shit properly. You're only decreasing the reps because you're increasing the, the weight, adjusting the intensity by two, two different variables, reps and weight. You know it's real when the bend, like the bar starts to bend. They say if the bar ain't bending, you're just pretending. Well, I guess I'm pretending. <laughs> Sometimes I mean, uh, some of the videos I watch, and I'm like, ah, oh, he's not gonna make it. He's not gonna make it. Oh, he did not make it. I failed a squat twice in my life. One was a burnout that I didn't breathe right, and the second one was just some freak shit. It was a weight that I could normally get that I couldn't get. And this Crazy. is where I die. This is the squat I'm not gonna get. She's not gonna die. Not gonna die. I got it. Oh, shit. Hey. So some y'all gotta remember, realize the heavier the weight get, it shrinks you <laughs> when you're racking it. Okay. All right. So listen. Sometimes uh, getting below parallel is not necessarily a strength issue. It's just a mobility issue or tightness in the hips. And most people are really tight in the hips. I am still. I'm not as tight as I used to be. I'm a lot better because I stretch a lot. But I have a, a, a really easy stretch for y'all. And I'm going to show you how to practice your squat to help open up your hips as well. You get So it's super simple. Just sit in the squat and just think about sitting back in the chair. Big chest, head up. Ha, right here. Put your elbows in here and just push out. Push your, uh, your, your knees out a few times. Come up, go back down into it. Keep doing it, okay? I used to be like this, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you know, it feels good. It feels good to me, but it'll be painful, but you wanna do it, uh, 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 uh. relax. Go back into it a few times. And also, another tactic that's pretty good to help you, you know, get nice and deep into parallel is when you're going down, like your feet, you're kind of pushing out and you're trying to open your knees out. It's gonna help you explode up too. Wow. So like this, wow, okay? You do that with the, with the bar on your back. Practice that with no weight. Practice it with the bar, practice it with lightweight. Listen, y'all, you get your technique. A good friend of mine, he's super strong, strong as me, if not stronger but he got real strong squatting the wrong way. And you'll be like, well, what's the problem with that? He's still squatting. Yeah, but pushing all that weight, any exercise doing it the wrong way, you'll end up gonna hurt yourself. You're gonna break yeah. something. So I could squat. I've squatted every day for 65 days, over 500 pounds every day, no, no problem. <clears throat> so if you're doing it right, you're not gonna hurt yourself. So what he had to do to retrain himself is he had to start just squatting light as hell and perfecting squatting really light, like the right way, protecting his knees. So practice with light weight, because once you get strong and efficient, the wrong way, it's hard to go back. And your ego might not let you want to go down in weight, and then your knees gonna fucking fall out. You don't want to be a person with no knees. You don't want that, okay? Last set, y'all, one rep. Let's get it. All that easy money, baby. Yeah, but that's not even a squat. You didn't go deeper. You yes, went a little I did. deeper. Did, yes, I did. A little bit. Rewind this and tell me that I did, just didn't go deeper. Yo. Let's work on your hip mobility and do some chin boxes. The what? Chin boxes. What the fuck is that? Today you're learning something new. Let's go. I don't want to learn. Huh? Shin boxes. So it's when you have 
say you're a 9090, right? So and there's a bunch of things that you can do, but say you're swiveling your hips to the other side, keeping contact with your heels, ending in the same position, right? And then from here, say you're literally flossing your hip joint. Say you just wanna take it to the next level, you bring the elbow to the knee or the elbow to the instep. If you wanna get more glued, if you wanna get more rotation of the spine as you're swiveling, and then you can bring your arms down, you get a deeper range of rotation and, and even get your lats. So this is a good joint for hips. You're so graceful. Huh? So graceful with it. And there's like a, a bunch dance. of things like that you dance. can do for your hips. It looks like a dance. It looks like a dance? Yeah, like a swan. <laughs> like a like swan. A swan. <laughs> a ballerina. Masi suggested we do goblet squats. All right, for it. So when Mike was talking about just opening up your hips, for those who have just lack of flexibility in their ankles, like their ankle mobility is completely restricted, then they can use a kettlebell to put in front of them. And when I mean you lack um, ankle mobility, say I'm telling you to go into your deepest squat and you cannot achieve this, you fall backwards. So just have a kettlebell in front of you and get yourself in this position and rock back and forth so that you're able to get more ankle mobility. But the goblet squat, it's, I love goblet squats because there's, it just sets you in really great position. It's great to work on your core. It's just an amazing squad. And as beginners, this is what I suggest. No, she's right. This is what I suggest that you do to begin with, um, with any type of squats. She's right. It puts you in perfect position. You can't deviate. You can't really be out in a bad position with a goblet you have squat. A counterweight in front of exactly. you. Exactly. And, and it's taxing your core in a different way, so it's good. Now, in the spirit of training for sports specific, I'm not doing any hypertrophy stuff right now, so I can't do what I wanna do, reps. So we we'll just do fairly heavy weight for five reps, just to maintain power and explosiveness. So I'll go first. Of course he's gonna go for the heaviest. Got you. It's not even that heavy. Five reps. Easy money, baby. <laughs> I like that. I really like that. Yeah. I felt it a lot more in my core with two. Yeah, in your core. Yeah, I like that. Are you ready? <laughs> Waiting on you, honey. All right, so there you have it. This was a dope workout. Thank you for joining me. Of course, anytime. All right. The rack, what is it called, rack? A rack squat. Okay, I like that. I really felt a lot of core engagement. I feel core engagement on every type of squat I do, but I felt a lot with that one. So. Because it's on the outside, so if you're thinking of, if it's away from the axis of rotation, right. it's gonna be a lot harder. So this is on both sides, taxing a lot more of your obliques. And it's hard just to keep the weight up right. with your shoulders. Right, so right. you need tons of like stability. It's dope, I learned something new today. Um, so y'all saw the progression. Listen, if you're trying to get big, 
you train a certain way. Right now, I'm not, right? The more muscle I have <laughs> leading to my fight, the harder it is for me. So I'm only training just for power, okay, and explosiveness. That's it. I'm focusing, I'm, I'm doing a boxing match, so I'm so focusing my energy on boxing, not weightlifting. But I love iron, I'm addicted to it, so I'm never gonna stop doing it. But I just suggest it. Y'all need to check out Masi. Her info's right here. Click the link down below. Ladies, she got something really dope for y'all. Very <laughs> dope. I want y'all to check it out, for real. Any last words for my dope ass squad out there? I don't know, you know, explore, try something new, push, you know, push yourself outside of your comfort zone. Um, if you think you know it all, this is going to lead to you plateauing. So just experiment and put yourself out there. Try different things, you know, you never know what you like. And there's so many things that to, you know, to do in the gym, right. just for you to come in and not be bored. So you guys already know, but <laughs> you gotta do my dance. <laughs> What's the dance? Oh shit, I didn't know about this. What's the dance? Let's go. What I just it? gave it to you. All right, go on. All uh, right. So uh, you go. I mean, you can add to your own style. What are we gonna do? Let's see. I don't know, you can just go, right? <laughs> what is that That's called? Awesome. I don't know, it's my dance. Okay, okay. I end my videos with a dance. For I'm about to teach you the Latrona dance. What's You're not that? ready for that yet. Okay, go. You're not ready for it yet. Go. You're not no. ready for it yet, no. Yes, I am, go. I haven't made it up yet, so that's why you're not ready. She's not ready for Latrona, but it's coming. I got you. Okay, so got freestyle. You. No, 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 I need the music, you know. Okay, put up the music. We out of here.